these are an older type light fitting with a T10 halogen bulb. In this video we're going to show you how to how to change these with LED and also the downfall of these lights are they've only got a single pole switch which means when you turn the switch on you can just see that both lights shine up. Um, so what we're going to do with this one is add a switch onto the side here which will give us an option of one light or both lights without changing that switch. So we're just going to add a switch because it's very difficult to find a switch, um, a three position switch that size to fit these units. Okay, so to remove them is pretty simple. There's four screws holding it, the covers just slide out and we just take out the four screws. Right, got that, get that one later. Yeah. You can see here the wiring that goes into it. Most people would think this is a negative wire, but it's actually American wire standard, which the black wire is positive and the, and the uh, white wire is negative. So when I fitted this fitting up, I put some quick connectors on, which just makes it nice and easy to remove. So I'll take this back out to the workshop and um, uh, fit the uh, different parts and then we'll come back and fit it in. You can see the difference. Okay, welcome to my mobile workshop. Um, I've drilled the 10mm hole to take the switch and fitted the switch into the back, uh, into the side of the uh, unit. Now, what I've got to do is follow these two wires on the original switch. Uh, the black wire is the power coming in, and on the opposite pole of the switch um, is really the positive wire that um, takes the power to both of the globes. So we only want to, with the switch, we only want to um, take the power to one or both using, using the switch, obviously. So what we're going to do is break this switch, which uh, or switch wire, which goes into here, using some of my favourite little things, Ugh. quick connectors. So we'll just fit these up and uh, return to the video um, and to show you the next step. Okay, so we've fitted the uh, quick connectors, or the quick crimp connectors, uh, onto the two wires from the switch. And with each of the uh, terminals going to one side of each, each of the wire that we've cut. Um, now, what we need to do is push these wires down into the casing so they're not going to get in the way when we're fitting them. And the next thing we're going to do is to change the... Uh, Bulbs, which are 20, uh, these are 20 watt uh, T10 uh, halogens. Um, so, in the old configuration, you'd turn this light switch on, you've got 40 watts burning. Um, we're going to replace these with some LED discs. These are the 563012SMD. Uh, these are a really bright uh, LED for for a uh, internal light switch. We could go lighter, we could go uh, even brighter again, but in my opinion these are the best ones for these light fittings. So to fit that disc into there we need to put in an adapter. Now, uh, or con I actually call these a little converter because I can convert uh, the T10 base to a G4 base. Um, so to put these in what you need to do is make sure that the wires going on the side here are just pointing out to, to the outside and the same on the one uh, on there. It doesn't matter which way they go into the socket as long as they go in and they're a nice firm fit. So simply take out the bulbs out of there like that and then we'll just get these uh, little uh, T10 G4 converters and just give them a wiggle into place and they're nice and tight and then we can do the same with this one 
So just check that wire. Just make sure it's going across slightly and across slightly. And then we'll fit this into the base here. They can be tight, but you just give them a bit of a wiggle and they'll go straight in. Now, if you have a look here, when you've got the fitting up in the roof, you can actually adjust these to, to a degree. Um, you can rotate them to about 10 to 20 degrees left and left and right. You don't want to turn them, just give them a slight twist. But uh, initially you want them so they're just sitting parallel with the, um, uh, with the base of the unit. Now the G4 discs, these just simply go into the holes. It doesn't matter which way, they, again, it doesn't matter which way they go in because they're bipolar. So they'll pick up the power from either way. But as you can see here, if we wanted to adjust the light angle inside, we can just by giving that black base a, a short twist. Okay, so we'll fit the other one in. And here we go. So that just goes straight into the two holes and give them a push all the way in. Now, when you're adjusting these, never adjust them by the LED itself, always adjust it by the black uh, base. But just initially, we'll just set them straight. And um, this one's a little bit on an angle, so we'll just turn him back that way, and that's ready to go in. Okay, so here we are, we've got the light fitting screwed back into place and all uh, wired up. Now, if we turn the switch on, now we can see one, one light is working there. Press the, press the switch there and uh, both are on. You can see that they're a lot brighter than the old halogens. They're a nice clean white light. Um, and additionally, both of these two lights burning uh, using around about 6 watts compared to the 40 watts of the old halogens. Turn one off and you're only using 3 watts. So it's quite a big, uh, um, big savings in power and um, also the light is a lot better, it's a lot brighter. Now as I was saying before uh, previously you can adjust the angle of these lights just by turning the base. So for this one we could turn it slightly inward so it's pointing in that direction and then the other one we can have pointing in that direction to give a greater spread of light. So it only needs it's just a slight angle. Now the light will be going down from that way and across from that way. So um, but I'll just return these to the neutral position or just a straight position. Turn the switch off. Put the light covers back on. Turn it back on again and the light covers just diffuse the light slightly. 